What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Go, Command. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Welcome back to Shortcut. Welcome back to I'm probably going to die to this boss and then lose uh, lose my humanity, which will kind of suck. But that's okay. It's all in the name of Vanessa Shard. Whoop! Oh. Oh, even one handed this time. That's nice. Oh snap! Oh shit! Now it's getting now it's getting a little more serious. I want one of these guys like chess pieces. They look really cool. He broke my guard. What a jerk! Um, you know what? Uh, losing that before the boss is not a good idea. I'm gonna go back and get my health back again. Um, so this boss here is optional, and if you lose to it, which I haven't beaten it before. Difficult boss, but because usually when you fight him at this part of the game, you're a little under uh, under equipped, shall we say? So there's that. So I just want to lure these guys away from this and see if I can. Oh, oh. couldn't you just? Oh well, no, I guess not. I really didn't want to fight both of these guys at the same time. That's like pretty much the exact opposite of what I wanted to be doing. I want this guy, I want to lure this guy into smashing one of these, what, smash one of these. No, no, it's too late. And I got this dickhead with a spit. there we go, that's what I wanted. I guess he got there in the end. She's the re oh my god, that went straight through my shield. Alright. Well, if that's the way we're playing it, I guess I'll just have to use a life gem. Um, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to use a... Th well, I'm going to... <laughs> Knock that guy off there. With this dickhead, I'm going to throw a throw knife at him. Because he is a complete pain in the ass. Now, I don't know what you get if you manage to beat this boss. I got no idea. But, I don't want that Estus Flash Shard. That was him flying over, by the way. There he is. This is the pursuer. This guy is going to be pursuing us, as his name suggests, throughout the entirety of our adventure, basically. He'll be popping up in all kinds of terrible, unpleasant places and uh, fucking up our day. So it's kind of like a, a boss that just tracks you throughout the entire game. It's an interesting idea, actually. And I guess it kind of, because the original Dark Souls you were supposed to have like a rival, and I guess this is, well it's not the same thing as that. It's definitely got a kind of, uh, he's a tough fight. He's a tough bastard. I mean, I'm doing like shit all damage to this dude. But, um, if I do hand it. No. Mm. No. Um, if you lose to him here, he basically just doesn't reappear here. He goes back to his regular boss place, and then after that he'll start pursuing you. But uh, yeah, trying to beat him there, because that's kind of like the early place to fight him. You don't have to fight him there. It's like I said, like an earlier, an earlier option. But uh, the main reason I wanted to go up there was not to fight him, because I had a feeling that I was 95% guaranteed to die to him. But it was so I could get the Essence Shard and go back to my jeweler and get more Essence Charges. Hello! Is that a shard? Yes, it is a Shard. However... Yes, upgrade my Estus Flask. Thank you very, very much. Wonderful. Um, that's that. Now, let's travel back to where we were. Pick up that last item, then we're going to explore that little area off to the side, because there's an NPC there who isn't necessarily important, but it is good to good to get him. Alright, so now that we're back here again... Oh, that guy's back. But I don't have to worry about the Pursuer, so I'm not that worried about him. And this guy, on the other hand. This guy's still a jerk. All these guys are jerks. Yeah, you two, you're a jerk. Gotta get up there, get back them souls I lost! Ow, god. Yeah, those turtle knights, they, they hit like freight trains. They are the freight trains of turtles. 
<laughs> he smashed through the exploded shit. That sucks. Man, I can't believe how much damage this axe is doing to him, though. I really did not expect that. As you can see, I've got three charges on my, um... I still got shit old poise because I don't have a proper armor piece on my torso. But, um... Yeah, three Estus charges now. That's nice. It's a nice little, nice little bonus. Pick up. Lovely, lovely souls. And yeah, now you get this ambush up here. Once you've defeated the pursuer, or once you've lost to the pursuer, when you come up here to get your stuff back, these jerks all show up. Jerk, jerk, attacks. No! How did that get through my shield, you dick? That's not how it works. I had my shield up. Human effigy in a life gem. Very nice. Now that I'm all like, I'm a zombie again. Alright, so now we've taken care of these jerks. Now we can come down here. Start doing this part here. The what I wanted to do today. I'm definitely breaking this place up into lots of little chunks because there's so many like little individual like areas in this particular zone. Is it, a, is it a zone? I guess it's not really a zone, but this particular part of the game. That's just a torch. There's like really just tons to explore and see here, so that's why I'm uh, hoping to get more like shorter episodes out of this game than some of the longer ones. Although the first ones are always going to be long because you have the intro cutscenes and all that stuff. Goddamn archers, get away from me! Stop arching me with your, your archers. <sighs> Alright, so we've got another Hollow Knight. I do have these guys' helms and I'll probably be, when I'm not wearing the uh, merchant. Actually, you know what? I'd rather take care of these guys. You can tell which ones have bows because they don't have shields. I'd rather take care of them. Oh well now he's dead though, so I guess I guess that isn't the case. Up! Oh! Alright. I'm gonna take care of all of these archers over here. La la la! There's nothing underneath that, is there? No. Come up here. Yeah, I'm feeling much more confident now that I've got a half decent weapon and leveled up a little bit. Those first few episodes were goddamn rough, but that was kind of the idea. That's that's what character progression's all about, and that's why I love me some Dark Souls. That's another area there we'll get to, I think, get to explore that later on. Yeah, there's items over there. Actually, that's a tough area. It's full of fucking Turtle Knights. Goddamn Turtle Knights. Messing everything up. Making making my life hard. What a bunch of jerks. Alright, now if we come over here, like we did before, along with that little spot down there. I love jumping around in this game, it feels so much better than the first one. Got a trap here. Goodbye. Hopefully it's just the one rock and I don't think there's any items down here. It just kind of turns a corner and then falls down a hole. If you go down there looking for items, you're going to be so disappointed. And a life gem, that's not very exciting. Alright, we've got an NPC! Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Alright, I want to kill this guy before I keep talking to you. It's this guy. Fuck off. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, there you go. Amber Herb. Very nice. Alright, let's keep talking to this dude. Why cartography, you ask? Well, that's a good question. When I first came to this forsaken land, it was... Um, uh, yeah, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. 
I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Dranglik, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dren Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you're fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Alright, got the key. Key to the mansion. Let's have a look at those. Inventory keys. Oh, we've got two of them. That's right. So the first one, which we picked up in the last episode, or the episode before that, I don't know. I already forgotten. Lenigrass Key, key to the blacksmith's Lenigrass and Majula. Majula, the land of exiles, is comprised of abandoned old houses. One of which, Lenigrass, is fashioned into a workshop. The one we just picked up with the house key, key to the abandoned house in Majula, received from Kale the cartographer. In the past, Majula served as a dumping ground for horrible things, but it is now a gathering place for those who have no better place to go. It seems this house in Majula was the final home for a few such souls. There's actually quite a few cool items in Majula, which makes it uh, worth exploring. Um, I couldn't remember if that was the way to get out of there or not, and I was worried I was just gonna like roll to my death. I'm glad that wasn't the case. Alright, let's get up and out of here. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so now that we've done that, that was kind of all I really wanted to do here for this episode. Um, although we still have to go, oh actually no, I've got to go down here yet, there's some more items down there. I think there's some more Titanite shards and some other useful things. Um, I'm going to crack this because I tend to get fall damage coming down here. Which, you know, if I can mitigate immediately without having to worry. It's such a bad thing. That's what the life gems are good for. They're like for preemptively healing. Like you know you're about to take damage, so you can use one to avoid taking that damage. Which is a system that I am okay with actually. Even though other people hate it. I don't mind that. It adds a different layer different layer to it, to the combat. Yeah, Titanite like Shard, I knew it. Actually, I've got enough here. I've got enough souls instead of leveling, I could. Could in theory just level up my um, my hand axe again, which could be kind of useful. By the way, like my hand axe isn't something that I'm planning on using long term as like a particularly amazing item or anything, but uh, for these opening areas, it's definitely useful. And gear is very important, right? Like especially when you start as deprived, like I do. Any advantage you can get over your enemies is great, and leveling is, is wonderful and all, but it isn't always as useful as uh, upgrading your equipment. Like, having relatively low stats but a plus 5 weapon is uh, as in the early game is going to be a massive help to you. So let's do that now, let's buy two more shards and upgrade this hand axe and then we'll use this key to have a look in the house where the uh, cartographer was. That's right, I would like to buy, kind sir, two, two Titanite Shards, and I would like you to reinforce my, what am I doing, my Hand Axe to plus three, which will take it up to 175. Next it requires a large Titanite Shard, so that's as far as we can get at this point of the game anyway. 
Jade's a bad. Now that we've done that, let's go explore the inside of this house a little bit. Now that we've got this key, there's some cool items in there too. Dun 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 dun. What? Oh, I was trapped on a box and I didn't realize. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Alright, so let's come up this way first, because I think. I think you can get another Estus shard in here somewhere. Or maybe it's the, uh, down here. Yes, down here, this is the map that that guy's talking about, that he found. It's a map of, uh, Drang Lake. Not everything lines up in a way that makes sense in this game, but, you know. That's a, it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers some other people. Come here, skeleton! Skeleton's kind of tough this early in the game. Oh my god, really? Well, shit. Alright, let's try this again. Let's actually kill the skeleton this time. I'll play a little bit less. Oh, he doesn't respawn. That sucks, because now I can't get the, uh, the item he dropped. Esther's flush shot, obviously very, very useful. These things here, these are actually part of a Lord Vessel, which is interesting. Um... Lord Vessel, of course, allowing you to teleport around in Dark Souls 1. Also got a chest! The Soul Vessel inside it, that is what you use to respec your character if that is your thing. So that's pretty much everything there is down this part of it. Which is nice. Nice to have that bit done. Now, what else have we got? Come up this way. And I believe this will take us up to the... Roof? There's tons to explore in this house. It's kind of crazy, actually. And what's in here? Because I don't remember. Titanite Shard. Another three Titanite Shards. So if I get another weapon, I can start upgrading that guy, too. Which is nice. Is that bit done. Now I can come back inside. And there's one little other area to check out here. Um, there's a big book. No idea what the deal with that big book is. Never really looked into it. I'm sure it has some significance. And a ferrous lockstone, which this is our first one of these, so let's have a look at that. These items are new to the game, and eh, I'm kind of mixed on them. Some of them are actually used for interesting stuff, and then others are used for kind of dull things. So the ferrous lockstone, stone activating a creation of Ferros the Vagabond. Ferros the Vagabond was a legend who wanted the lands, creating a contraption to help those in sincere and dire need. The scope of his travels was so wide that Ferros has been mistakenly credited with many inventions that were crafted by others. So yeah, that's a thing. Sounds like the pigs have made their way in here, have they? How much damage do I do to these pigs now? There's a question. Come here, piggy piggy. Yeah, piggy piggy piggy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These guys aren't much of anything to me now. <laughs> If I can fucking hit the things, that's the downside to this weapon, is, um, as you probably saw with the crystal lizard, like, it, it's not the easiest thing to, uh, hit shit with at the best of times. It's very easy to go over the smaller enemies in the game. Ah, there we go. How many souls do I get for that? Like, two. Two wonderful souls. Come here. There you go, now you're dead. Okay, I don't know what it is with um, Miyazaki and pigs. Not that Miyazaki didn't direct this game like he did Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls, but Dark Souls has pigs in it, this game has pigs in it. Dark Souls 3, I don't think had pigs in it from memory, but Bloodborne did! Is that a shop here to see? Yes, that is a shop. Yeah! Thank you very much. Now we've got four charges, fucking awesome! And, because once again, I hate looking at myself like this, I'm going to use this effigy. Bam! Back to being snazzy. So, thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we're going to explore more of the Forest of, For Forest of Fallen Giants. And we might even be able to make it up to the end boss for that area. Or one of the bosses, anyway. The last giant. We'll see, we'll see. See how we go. But thank you for joining me. I'm having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Peace out, and as always, have a good one!